November 23rd. Let me just get to this is a special meeting, November 23rd, 7.30, the Rochester Stockbridge Unified District. Um, and we have called to order with a quorum of Amy Wilt, Justine Kavakis, and Megan Payne. Um, now, are there any adjustments to the agenda? There being none, we'll move on to the discussion item, this career change assistance program. And I will do a mea culpa here. Um, I thought we were just doing the negotiations and not this career. And so I'm, I'm sorry for not being more better prepared for that to talk about that. Um, it is whether we want to do it at the local level at our, in our districts, support um, career change assistance program to our teachers. And let you know me- if we did um, last year? I don't think we did. I don't think we did either, um, but I'm not 100% sure about that. And um, can you run through a brief description of the pro of what it is? Let me let me find it here. Yep. All right, 7.1, the career change assistance program will be available through any school within the supervisor union only if an individual town board aff affirmatively votes to adopt the program by December 1 in any year. Uh, ba -ba -ba. The board votes to make this program available. Notice shall be provided to the association, which I believe is the teachers association. Notice of the teacher's intent to participate in this program must be made in writing and delivered to superintendent no later than January 1 of the teacher's final year of employment. Any teacher who has been employed on full or part-time basis for at least 15 years within the White River Valley Supervisor Union and who elects to resign from his or her position according to the terms of this program shall be paid an amount of money equal to 80% of his or her teaching salary paid for the year in which she, he, she elects to resign. This payment shall be based solely upon the annual teaching salary and shall not include any additional compensation the teacher may receive on the year preceding retirement. Uh, upon approval by the board, the teacher may choose to receive payment in equal installments once each year during the three, four, or five years immediately following the year of retirement. This choice of payment plan must be made upon notice of the teacher's intent to participate paid in this program. The board agree, in addition, the board agrees to pay the premium cost of a single membership in a health insurance plan at its current rate for the year in which the benefit is to be paid. This benefit shall be limited to the first year immediately following the teacher's retirement. If desired, the teacher may, at his or her own expense, elect additional health insurance coverage by paying the premium cost in excess of the single premium plan premium. Um, it's funny it doesn't exactly show i mean uh and this is why i was hoping that Char carl might be here because he certainly has a lot more experience with this than i do um uh but i'm glad you have some sense that we did not vote for this last year um it seems an extra expense that right now, um, as tight as things are. Salary? Yeah. Sorry, is um, 516, are you, is this 51661? Can I just ask you that as if you would mute, please, if that's, unless you're a board member? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, so, uh, questions about this. Um, right, it does seem um, seem like it, it is quite an added, a potential added expense um, on an already tight budget. Um, I, I guess I'm wondering what the goal of the program is. Is it to, it's to help transition on... Uh, from teaching to someplace somewhere else. The teacher who's 
who has been with us with the SU, not necessarily with Rochester, for mm -hmm. for 15 years. So potentially an older um, seasoned teacher, uh, which yes. also means a higher higher salary. Um, Yeah, I do not believe I, I, I'm. I'm pretty certain that if you have a bit of a recollection that we did not do this last year, that's what I believe. Justine, do you have some questions? I I am new, obviously, but I want. Is there a program in place right now that offers some sort of transitional support for long-term teachers to retire or transition out? Well, there, there is teacher retirement, which is which, right. is which is different from this program. Right. This is, would be an addition to that. Yes, this would be an addition, and and so what what it is from what you read, Ethan, was that um, there's a choice of of taking eighty percent of their teacher salary for the first year of them re their retirement when they've transitioned out, or they can. Extended oh. multiple years. I well, again, this is where I wish Carl was here. Uh, let me send Jamie an email with a question. I think this might be a gentle way of encouraging someone to move on, which, yeah, yes, <laughs> yes. Well, yes. yeah, it seems like an incentive program, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's uh -huh. what I was getting at, where what. Why is why would we vote on something that makes it so attractive to leave? I'm not. I don't get it, but yeah. I'm still new. Ew. Right. Um. So right. This we're not going to vote on this right now. We actually have no, to we go have into to... executive session in between. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to get him out the question. Is this and get someone? Yeah. I. I I'm. Yep. I'm trying to call for the nice way to say it. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's not the nice way to say it, but um, you know, it's it's talking about any specific teacher that's confidential. We can certainly talk oh. about what this policy is in general. Hey, Megan. Right, that's what. I, yeah. Yes, I I, I yeah. just wanted to, to what's chime. What's your What's your take on this? You've been around a little bit. Um. Well, I I I do agree the way that you guys describe it. it's a gentle way to 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 maybe have a t t teacher transition we did not budget for it last year good thank you uh, because it was an extra expense and we just did not have the money to put into the budget for that so that's um just what i recall from last year and we did do it i think maybe the year before but we definitely did not do it last year okay. yeah, we have participated it and participated in it in the past i know that when we um were a k through 12 school we had um, I, I remember I was on the board and we did have a few teachers that, that participated in this program. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, as Megan said, we, that we are, by voting for this, we do, we are um, essentially a budgeting for a, another teacher, potentially, but they, but, yeah. but that it, that has, they have to apply it to the program by, would you say January one or somewhere in January? So we would have, we would know it when before the you know as we we're budgeting, but it could potentially be a. Um, okay. I've got a quick question for Lindy. I, I don't know if she's going to be on tonight, but uh, um, just there. Yeah, I don't even want to say it out loud to yeah. anybody. Well, um, maybe. Well, we have negotiations uh, yeah. to do an executive session. Maybe, we'll, maybe by the time we get back from executive session, she will have responded to you. Um, yes, I'm just going to send her. But I think she would have told me beforehand if if she if they if there was an administrator had some interest in using this right okay so um 
once we get some I did further discussion on that I'm, I'm sorry I, 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 I was sort of was not fully prepared for this meeting I was more prepared for the other meeting um, so uh, let us go into uh, executive session at 6 7 45 p.m. Monday for November 23rd to have to discuss negotiations um, Ray are you ready to take us out of recording I am. Uh, How do I we hear a motion in a second, Ethan? Sorry about that. Thank you very much. Yes. Can someone move that we go to um, executive session, please? Yeah, I make a motion that we go into executive session for um, negotiations, discussion of negotiations. Can I have a second, please? I'll second. Thank you, Justine. Okay. Okay. So back to our agenda. We're out of executive session at 8.07 p.m. Um, we are, have action items. Uh, career change assistance program. I will entertain a motion that we do not uh, accept this program for our SUD for this year. Anyone I'll move that? Second. Amy made that motion. Do I have a second, please? I second. Is there any further discussion? There being none, all in favor signify for not offering it this year, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, the ayes have it. The Career Change Assistance Program will not be offered this year. Uh, 6.2, Act to Approve Master Agreement 2021 and 2122. Uh, what's your pleasure? Somebody make a motion. I would like to make a motion to uh, approve the master agreement. Second. I second. Thank you, Justine. All in favor to approve the master agreement 2021 and 2122 signify by saying aye. 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 We're done. Other? and adjourn and we will go back to the other meeting if you wish or you can you're done otherwise ethan we might want to follow up with um tim um keith and yeah, if they come with just 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 was maybe like a synopsis and an email of what we came out of executive session and said maybe i don't yeah just i think, think you're right got, i mean since they haven't come back do we know is our other people back um everyone else is back everyone else okay. is back <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, yes, I will follow up with all. Uh, though, uh, if somebody could forward Jamie, if you could forward me Keith's email address, because I don't have his non WRVSU. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So let's done. drop out, and we will thank rejoin you. the other meeting.